Uh huh. Yeah, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, baby. Already. Yeah, baby. Already. Hey, yeah. What up? What up? What up? Welcome to another episode of B Tech Productions. Today we are going to go over fixing HDR footage. So if you ever record on your iPhone, bam, um, and you shoot in HDR, usually it's set up like automatically, um, but it's just a really bright video. And sometimes when you bring it in the Final Cut Pro, it's too bright. And the first time that this happened to me, I was like, do I have my settings crazy? Like what's going on? I didn't even pick this. Like, so what we're going to go over is a couple ways of how to fix it. And, um, this is just like the workaround. I've tried to put it in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, no problem at all. But in Final Cut, for some reason, it detects it as like HDR being too bright. And it, it, it also works in iMovie, no problem. So I'm hoping that with the software update or something, Final Cut can go ahead and fix this or Apple can go ahead and fix this where you don't even have to do this stupid workaround. So I'm gonna show you two ways to how to fix this, okay? Let's get into it, but first, Let's roll that intro. All right, and the first thing that we're gonna do is that's right. As we see over here, we got Final Cut Pro open. All right, so we're going to bring in a clip. It's a clip of my beautiful wife. You should Aww. check out her YouTube channel. I'm gonna put it right here. Um, all right, so you see that it's too bright. Just take this down all right so the first way that you can fix this is by going over to your effects and then picking hdr just put that in there okay then we go over here and now you'll see we have hdr tools so we can change this i will probably change it to hlg to rec 709 sdr and then bring it at like, make it a little bit brighter, something like that, somewhere in between the 90s. Um, you can play around with the other ones if you are into color grading. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know what this means. HLG to PQ, but just out of the box, just not trying to even go into color grading too much. Um, was it this one? Yeah, this one seems the best. Okay, let's say we take that off. Let's say we don't want to do that. The second way that you can do it is by going to the information tab, make sure that it's on settings. And then we're going to go to color space override. This right here, color space override. And then we're going to click on 2020. Bam. Okay, now let's say that you have a bunch of clips let's say let's say that you got this off and then you start cutting it up so like let's just say on this one you did color space override 2020 bam but now as you go uh oh this actually changes changes it for the whole thing so i wonder probably if you have a different clip let's try this again let's bring in the same clip Oh, good. Okay, so it changes it for like all of the clips on the timeline. So you only have to do it one time. So very good, very good. So that's the two ways of how you change that. And that's how you fix it. Again, I don't know why this does happen, but this is how to fix it. So if you're shooting on an iPhone, specifically iPhone 13 Pro Max, then this is gonna to happen to you unless you have HDR turned off, okay? If you found this review helpful um, and this answered your question, please consider subscribing doing some liking doing some commenting let me know so i can know you know what i'm saying who my community is who my tribe is let me know we'll see you in the next one